师傅。Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to another one. Come yeah, on, today I'm here at the park. Park in Kingston. Come yeah, on, um, had a shoot this morning over by Porky. It's across the road over there. Come yeah, on, I had a shoot. So I just say, you know what? I'm gonna come by the park and I'll do a little vlogging, right? One of my subscribers was asking uh, me to do a video on the process um, that you have to go through when buying a house um, or the NHP process and um, I just wanted to you know, do a little rundown as to, as to what that is about right, so I meant to say this on a hat today my son is striking ja ja so my son normal Hot man. Yeah, so, so guys, um, let's go. Yes, guys, so based on my experience, the first thing you have to make sure is that your contributions are up to date, right? Make sure you're contributing. If you're self employed, go into compliance and make sure that um, you want NHD on the, on the right page, right? On the same page, right? Now, um, if you are looking for a loan outside of NHD let's say you're one going in right and you're buying a house for like 10 million you're going to need a loan if you're not getting an NHD house now you'd have to go into a bank or a building society or a commercial bank or whatever it is that you want to um to, 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 to borrow wherever you want to borrow so you'd have to go into the commercial bank or building society or wherever you want to borrow if you're not if you're not using NHT um, for the full amount now guys so make sure that you are compliant make sure your contributions are up to date if you are employed if you are employed make sure that your employer is actually paying over to NHT because a lot of times you know you keep thiefing um, employer them and boss them they not pay over your contribution you tell them they not pay it over so you have to make sure say um, you get what is called a P24, right? In account, we call it a P24 from your employer every year, and it will give you a rundown as to the contributions that were paid over to um, to, to to NHD. I mean, the, to to the tax um, office, right? All the taxes, right? Education, NIS, NHD, all the taxes income tax so get a p24 at the end of the year um, from your employer because the employer them wicked because um you know what time you know so one thing where this guy i work how long um i want resort down in the west eh? and them not contribute nothing for him when he's ready to go get a loan nothing right I, I i have heard of person that's close to me family who say when they're ready for, when they got NHD, no contribution and i'm not talking about person working in now and store or something people work with government and the government institution not paying over so make sure that the contributions are up to date right yeah man um make sure guys that if you're going to take out a loan right make sure that your credit history is good you have to make sure you protect your credit credit history. You understand? Make sure none of you guys are out there taking out loans of people and then them go bad and then you know it's added to your credit score and you know when a when when the bank call the credit bureau or um apply for your credit score then boom it's not good right right and declare to the bank all all you have outstanding in terms of loans and stuff because they will find out through the credit bureau once your name is on a contract out there they'll find out with the credit bureau so you have to make sure that you are um you are compliant and you know not own debt you don't have no bad debt because trust me bad debt is is can be a, a nightmare when you're trying to get out a mortgage right i mean nhd nhd don't necessarily need uh, credit score and that's the reason why 
it is important um, that you get NHD and you contribute to NHD because unlike the bank them don't need to know your credit score if you have a business them don't need to know where your business is there and all them something they can't just be selling some shirt out of a bag down a town them not care run a taxi them, them, them don't want to see your papers nothing NHD they are not as strict as the bank so it's easier it's way easier to get a loan through NHD than than the bank right so guys make sure that all your payments are up to date whether you're self-employed or you're employed now when they're up to date you go to the to NHD right the nearest NHD office and they'll give you a compliance letter right they give you a letter no man not a compliance letter man all right so they'll give you a letter that shows that you're qualified for a certain amount I don't remember what this is called right so they'll give you a letter without that letter most persons who are selling the house will not sell you if you don't have a letter from NHD that says that you are qualified for this amount for 6.5 or 4.5 or a million dollars right so go to NHD and get that letter from them I think it's valid for like six months right you can have it for like six months so go out and, and, and get that letter right now um, after that you basically be, be hunting right you basically be seeking um, you're looking for houses right so you'll be talking to developers who are chemtech whoever they are um, you also be talking to realtors um, looking looking in the paper online etc etc just hunt for the house right and once you find that house um oh deposit guys make sure you have a deposit here because a first come first serve and the market is very competitive so make sure you have a deposit all right so <coughs> sorry about that so all things being equal and you have a deposit you are compliant and you find a house right let's say you're buying a house from Gore for example right so Gore would send you um, some information through email telling you to do an application and when you do that application they they're gonna ask for payment within about one to three days deposit upon completion of your application for example right so you're going to, so that's the reason why you need you need the money in your hand right um the good thing though and this is this is a wonderful thing they only ask for five percent most people ask for like 10 15 some ask for 20 percent or ask for five percent which is very good right now once you have that five percent you make a deposit right you can pay uh, online preferably online I think they don't accept cash over a million dollars so once the deposit is less than a million dollar you can you can actually um, bring it in office right once it's over a million um, you have to do it online for Gore I'm not sure about like the Chemtech and the others um, developers right five percent which is very good now let's move on so after you pay that five percent they are also going to give you a 21 days for the loan to be paid over to them this is the 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 um the mortgage so they give you 21 days where it's on hard it's on hard so you're given 21 days so in this 21 days you have to make sure that you're on nhd bank you now click click clock clock you can't miss you can't miss a beat you have to make sure that you're there right guys so on on that 20 in that 20 if if it goes over the 21 days what happened is that when you make your deposit in your deposit there was a clause there if you read the contract that says that after 21 days they start charging you i think five thousand dollars a day um and yes yeah, so five thousand dollars a day 
and in the, the deposit there's a $50,000 that goes towards that so when that $50,000 is depleted so $5,000 is taken out every day after the 21 day has expired until it's depleted once it's depleted and your mortgage has not yet been um, sent to Chemtech or Gore or whoever it is well Gore because they are the one who does this contract right then you're going to have to pay whatever else or how many um, the days that it will go over right so let's say you have depleted the fifty thousand dollars that was allotted for days beyond the 21 days and you got 10 extra days right so that's another fifty thousand dollars right so what happened now is that um you're gonna have to pay that whole pocket right so you owe them that so guys you have to be on in in um nht back yeah man because them slow them lazy them them tell you the truth them not care you understand you have to make sure that you are um you're on them yes guys i had to change position because sun man the sun hot um oh there was something i forget to mention um the contracts so poor um upon um paying the deposit they'll send you contracts i think three contracts one is sale of house one is sale of chattels and one is owner um owner's contract or owner's agreement right some elaborate documents um i can't i can't i don't even remember right now i probably have to go through it but it's a lot of stuff and then upon that they're gonna also send you about 10 or 13 other documents for signing those are not necessarily contracts but those are legal documents that um are are to be signed by both parties um, to facilitate the mortgage process right um do you need a lawyer yes you do a lot of persons saying buying a house don't necessarily need a lawyer no you need a lawyer me not ask you you're going to need a lawyer because the documentation me i'm going to show you documentation i'm with the partner but i'm going to show you documentation right yeah man so what happened is that gore they send you videos right they send you a set of videos so you um that explains everything in details right the cost of a mortgage right the different contracts you know sale agreement you know sale of chattels uh, owners agreement every single thing they elaborate on it and um they give you all the fine details as to what the contracts are about so you can't miss you can't miss right um but, the, but they don't explain what's in the contract you know big difference they don't explain what's in the contract they explain what the contract is about right and what it is for so you have to read your contract yeah man you have to read it even though you're really going to read most of them still but you have to read it. but they do send you a link um with user credentials you know username password you're going you log in and you you get to view right you get to see um what the videos are about i think two videos one that talks about the mortgage and the cost of mortgage and the other that talks about the contracts that will be entered into which i think is very good i'm not sure about the other developers right and i, I definitely would give your a for that you know it's 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 great consideration right considering the clients um and make it you know it's a bit easier right and guys you need a lawyer yeah man you need a lawyer when you look at the amount of documents you know documentation pile high pile high a whole heap of something for sign you understand when i time sign tell me i look at me and say right you know what this because a lot of the documents you have to sign you have, you have to get a copy you know some of them you have to sign all you have to get all you get all three copy right um but it's a lot of documents it's about 12 or 13 different piece of document right i'm not a contracts there are three contracts um the documents that has to do with you know 
different obligation between you and Gore in, in hand, um, mortgage handing over, um, who should go to the tax office, you have to sign certain documentation to give the lawyer authority to do certain things, you know, to go to the tax office and do this, or to go to the, um, the land agency, you know, because all that has to be done to, right? Your name has to be on the title, and the lawyer is the one who is going to be doing all of this work for you, right? Um, so, and what happened is that Gore, they split the, the, um, the cost, right, between you and themselves. Right, and it's not a lot of money um, when you look at it. It's reasonable. Yeah, man, it's reasonable. You never, you never um, get to go through all of them. Someday. But I'm going to show you the. It's bulky, the documentation. Right? Um, so after the mortgage comes out, no fireworks. Fireworks. So after the mortgage comes out, um, I think you have to get your water connected before you can get the keys can be handed over to you right yes so guys I'll tell us something yeah you only need to connect your water um you don't need to connect a light you like to get your keys right i tell you something when we move our scheme right my light was light was connected but i have one neighbor there a delco i mean generator the brother i brought a back of him house a pump current you understand him like never connect because JPS take a while to connect it to you know yeah man him take a while as me I tell you them them, them, them kind of hard to deal with yeah but you don't need to connect a light um you don't need internet and them something there you just need your water and them give you a key you can sleep in the house get some cardboard show it down if you don't have a bed and you are on that and you are good right um so yeah man, um, that's pretty much the process. Uh, there's a lot of little things um, in between, like the cost of a loan, um, the cost of the mortgage, which is um, you have to pay stamp duty, a lot of stuff you have to pay. And that's why you need a lawyer to help you, you know, sort out these things. You have about maybe six or seven items there that you have to pay um, during the process the mortgage process right the cost for mortgage you have to pay all um, those fees right you have to take them into consideration so at the end there is um, a cost that is called escalation right and this is after you have um, paid the deposit then escalation would be what the project costs or what the, the cost of building your house that wasn't foreseen right I think I treat them a try trick still but mine was 500,000 um, NHT actually paid it they added to the loan right so NHT can add it to the loan or your bank you can talk to your bank that they add it to the loan as well so my escalation cost was $500,000 um, them said why delays and this and that and you know, all manner of people, but you know, you have to pay it at the end of the day if you want the house, right? So, money have to pay it. So, in a nutshell, uh, that is basically, basically, it, you know. And um, I must say, guys, thank you again for watching. Hope this video was informative, and um, catch you on the next one.